According to him, despite only being 15, he's 16. apparently been playing darts for 13 and a half years. Picked yeah. up a set of magnetic darts as a toddler. I think he was really. I think he's really 23. He was born eight year old. He's, he's even got facial hair. I didn't have that till I was 42. Well, he certainly played like a man who's been on this stage many times before in that victory 100. against Ben Hazel. And even more impressive, it wasn't made easy for Luke. He's a plucky competitor, Hazel. And he took him to a last set, but there were spells in the game where it was just irresistible. Yeah, I talked to Ben, ben a lot. He was a, a bit of a thinker, and uh, yeah, I've, I've chatted with him. And he's really impressed with uh, Luke. And he looks the real deal, doesn't he? It's, uh, I know Target are really uh, impressed with him, and I think he's going to have many battles with Leighton Bennett 81. over the years, and uh, it could be a real fixture of seeing them two lads in the finals. 46. In that second set, his winning legs, that was the, the real blistering charge that he put on when he came back from the break, having lost the first. His winning legs were 12, 14, 14. 58. That's, Luke, uh, that's insane 55. standard. But it looks, for me, just looking at him, you know, close, up close and personal, it looks like he's got that in him, if you know what I mean. Look, it's just a fluent action. It's uh, 65. It doesn't look like there's many nerves on that stage right now. Uh, but you said wily old character with uh, Richard. I think he's even better than that, Richard. He's uh, no one's had spoke about him at all. Um, what are they in 26? But he's a superb player. He's sort of got 19. off the radar a little bit. A couple of disappointing bits of Q skill. Double 15. 16. And the finish in the last match was 14. unbelievable. But Richard's going to be a tough ask to beat. Yeah, and that's been shown in the first leg. That. By punishing the line, couple of missed starts at double first. 15 by Littler to break the young lad's throw. One of them, 14. Yeah, I played Richard uh, for me, famously for me, uh, in a Finders Masters final. Uh, he's just an absolute gentleman, his wife Monique. It's just, they're just so nice. What you see there is. What you get with him, there's no airs and graces. He's uh, just a genuinely nice guy. And uh, very, very dangerous uh, match here for Luke. Yeah, interesting what you said about nobody really talking about Vainstra because I spoke to him before the game and he said he's totally comfortable yeah. with all the attention being on his opponent. I asked my good friend uh, Jim Williams last week at the Pro Tour, who do you think will win? And he said Richard, and uh, do you know, a part of me was like, oh, is Richard in it? You know, just just nobody was talking about him. And But that's the beauty of the uh, WDF uh, lake side this year. I mean, you can probably write a case for 10 if, if the players are still left in. It's uh, it's wide open. 41. He didn't have to play the best up against Laszlo Kadar. As I said, he only dropped two legs in that match. Littler. He had four finishes. Trouble 13, do you think? Over 100. Yeah, he has gone that way, and he might have had a fifth ton plus check out. One of five. Can't quite manage it. Looks like he's got the score in power there, Chris. I just looking at you know, 12 darts and missing a double. He's uh, that will win him so many, many games. 96. Looks he needs to get 16. on the board. He needs this double eight to settle his nerves. That's the first time he sort of. Blew out a bit of fresh air there, so suck it in and get it in that double eight. Yeah, that's came short of the second line. And he's got the attitude Little as well. Play. You can see that there Play as he like breaks back. The first. Game up. Venstra knows he's in a match already. One hundred. See the average there, it's only early in the match, but Luke is one of just six players here to have Averaged more than 90 so far. 100. I'll make a prediction that he does that same thing in this in this match again. He's uh, he's got all the tools. He's a he's an impressive young man. He certainly is, and it's just so good to see him 16. here right now. And I'm sort of looking at everything about him: his stance, his demeanour, his his actions, and ticks all the boxes. One of the new 40. Already engrossed in this one. One of the new 40. We could be in for a, a real classic night at the lakeside. We've already seen a dramatic darting clash between 
James Richardson and the Victor Scott Marsh. Yes, that was a, an absolute beauty, that one. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This first dart is just insane. 177. Richard Jericho, 164. Wow. Wow. Yeah, oh, that's Kim Sol in the blood. That's what it's all about. He's a and look at the sportsmanship there. Absolutely fantastic. Nothing from Richard. Cool as a kill combat. Wow, wow, wow Keep. from Duzza alongside me. There's Veenstra. Wows the crowd and breaks again. And he. 100. Matches the highest checkout of the tournament so far. That came from. Mike Warburton. One of the okay, what I did like though, Luke's sort of response to that, the little fist pump that shows immense maturity for me, and uh, that was pretty classy. One of the M40. Certainly lifting each other, aren't they already? If it carries on like this, we could be looking at something very, very special if it goes 55. deep. 55. And we'll see what Luke's all about now. He's in a match. He's in a tough match. Richard, uh, Richard's looking good here. Well done, Glenn. 85. <laughs> well, we'll I'd, heard about this, I'd heard about this commentator's curse, Chris, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I've mastered it already. 77. Some fans in the house. There's a lot of support for Jared Cole and Luke. It's great to say that these young lads have 26. got all the families, friends here with them. You can't buy that support when you're up there, but I think Richard's here just with his wife. 90. Richard Jury 150. A slight slip from Vainstra, but both players in similar range, so still on course to take the opening set here. Treble 18. What? Just tidies up. 126. Luke Jury 142. Well done there, Marco. I was count my fingers and thumbs there. Huh? Come on, Luke. Yeah, it looked like a very good line, Richard but it looks like 24. Richard Vainstra will take yeah, the first set, and indeed he does. Set. Richard Brilliant set-up. One dart is all he needed for the double, and the Dutchman takes the lead in the match and has taken Second the first set, step first line, towards Richard the quarter-finals. Game on. Ah, it's the last 16. Right, come on, Glenn. Yeah, and just his reaction, he's just cool, isn't he? Richard, he looks cool, Richard. Piercing eyes, look at them eyes. 100. All he can see, all he's looking at is that treble 20. 140. I'd love to see the first start stat for Luke. Which means he'll probably start with a big fat one, and the next time he goes, look at them averages. Yeah, brilliant. That's what it's in. all about. And 100. We're already looking at possibly, and I'll whisper it quietly for now, but possibly promising the best game of the tournament so far. 100. That last game, I know it averages this, that and the other, but that last game will take some beating, but uh, yeah, they're both close to the 100 average now. It's, I think they're both enjoying each other's 40. pace. It's fluent, there's no gamesmanship up there, they're just really enjoying the pace together. And 43. Yes, it's, uh, it's looking good. Well, still Jim McEwen. The only man to post 97. a three-figure average so far in this tournament. That was in his opening win against Landon Gardiner. This is good stuff, Chris. This is... Richard 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 64. But Richard's going nowhere. Yeah, Richard is going sure the first absolutely line. nowhere. So now line we're definitely going to find out what Luke's all about. 96. Yeah, absolutely superb stuff. From this pair. But Veinstra. But he's just unfazed, not taken in by the occasion and all the tension. Rightly. Richard must have a heart rate of about 30. <laughs> yeah, all the attention rightly on his teenage opponent. It is some story. But he's been the. And as you said, I maybe understated it, he's a, a bit of a spoiler, he's a very good player in his own right. Mm. I, 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 you know, where's he been the past couple of years, 56. I know we've had the Covid etc, but he's been to a couple of Q schools. 
Um, but for me, he's underachieving because, honestly, he's top-notch. I've seen 100. him so many times play like this. Well, he leaves 81. To double his lead in the second set. 81. Yes, double 12 again. Yeah, it's that's absolutely the glorious second round. stuff from the Dutchman here. Down. It's all Further going his way. He's certainly been lifted People. by Little, there's no doubt about that. But at this point, Veenstra is putting in a stunning display. One hundred and seventy-seven. Hasn't missed a dart double. He's averaging well in excess of 100 as well. And now he's off with a 177. Yeah, the only thing I'm looking at is how Luke's responding. Just is he shaking his head? Is he getting despondent? No 99. Well done, young man. Well done. Keep fighting. Look at them averages. One hundred and thirty-five. Well, this is a game that would grace any stage. Any time. 58. Risha Chiricoa, 90. Pulls that would have been a good doubt. Last one there. 90. That's probably going to have to stay up there. Well, I didn't expect that. Yeah, that's King Shot in the second does set. The business. It's an absolute. Not bad. Just getting over the treacle and. You know. <laughs> 140. What must Luke be thinking right now? Why me? 48. Yeah, he's run into a rampant display just to fill you in on how good this performance has been by Richard Vaintree. He's won the last five legs 16. of the match. 12 darts, 16 darts, 14 darts, 11 darts and 12 darts again. And like I said, I wouldn't, you wonder where's he been. You know, he was playing like that four or five years ago. He was playing pairs of Wesley Harms, he was unbeatable. Playing singles, he won so much. And look at this. It's just... 139. Where have you been, Richard? Where have you been? Well, interestingly, the highest average that he's 39. ever produced himself is 104.38. So he's on for a personal best here. That was in a qualifier as well, away from the stage at a PDC European Tour qualifier. Well, the games, I mean, he'll be what looking at the ways? highest average on the Lakeside stage, won't he? He will, yes. The current record is 103.83 by Raymond van Barneveld. If Veenstra can reel off a few more quick-fire legs, then that will be yeah, under threat. Yeah, next game's than the first line. And he's picked Richard up another one. Line. Well, if truth be told, Second I didn't line, expect it to come first. out Game flying like he is right now. I thought that I thought he might went backstage and actually just thought about exactly what he'd done, but... Fair play, still 106 average, it is 60. two mil, big legs, and uh, yeah, he could be breaking records from the from the great man himself. 100. Keep an eye on that, a subplot in what has been a dazzling display. One hundred and twenty-three. And I think, 43. just get the sense that maybe a little bit, it's deflated Luke. And that's what I didn't want to say, because what he's got to think about when he gets over it, what's 16. he learned? What's he learned from this game? Because when you don't, you never lose, you just learn. And uh, we all have heartbreak what losses. Are the me more than anyone at the moment, before anyone tweets me that. But we all have devastating losses, and this is probably a big day for him, but what have you learned? One hundred and thirty-four. He'll be desperate to win the game, just so he doesn't have to turn up to school on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> one hundred. Richard one hundred and twenty-four. He's been taught a lesson, though, here by Veinstra. Another one of them. Fifty-six. Luke Uriqua, one hundred and twenty-four. You need to catalyst, as Luke. Could this one-two-four be it? No, I don't. You're doing fine, lad. You're doing fine. You just ran into a steam train. 56. Keep believing, lad. You'd love to get up there and talk to him, wouldn't you? And just give him a pat on the back and 
let him know it's nothing he's doing wrong. Oh. Yeah, it has King Shaw the second Richard line. doing everything he's right. It's just his reaction, Richard, as well. It's just, first. Game on. just no facial movement, no nothing. It's just he's focused, he's laid back, and 59. he's giving us all a little treat here. Well, he could wrap up the match in double quick time, and I don't think anybody was expecting him to race through it like this. One of the 40. The average still on course to beat the record here at the lakeside. 94. Sure, a little 15 data. Probably going to be really close. 100. Just when you think he's beginning to think, and then he just pops in that treble there. It's uh, a very, very impressive. 100. Display. One Well, it's nine darts he's thrown. He's down to one, two, one. I mean, he could complete this in sensational 56. style. And he's just really won the second leg of the match. And Vainster just doesn't seem to have missed a thing since then. Wow. Game. And he's done Shot. it. <laughs> that and was absolutely insane. The best display I've seen on a lakeside stage.